a nail in the tire. I was really grateful that he found it out because uh, I'm going to Dahab with Paul to watch his videos because he gives a lot of advice in our channel. Think about it, I could be in the middle of the desert and my tire was down. So Mustafa, which is a brilliant guy, he noticed it. Here it is, man. There you go. If you guys have any problem with your car, you come to Bridgestone and ask Mustafa. He's very kind and he will fix everything. And here it is. This small nail could have caused many problems. Now, this is the guy who's gonna save our tire. Yellow stuff. The car is ready. I have to go very fast to Paul. We're going to Dahab. And we made it to Dahab with Paul and Flavia. We had a great time diving, quadding in the desert. You'll find the videos in the channel if you want to know more. I'm going to show you a bit around. And it's also a way to introduce you to Egypt. You know, I like to show the things that you don't see in the other channels. Whenever my car has some problem, especially with electricity, I bring it to Ahmed Best. We are in the industrial area called the Roy Sat. Today, three of the doors of my car decided not to open. And every time I come to Mr. Ahmed, because he's a gentleman. Thank you. Our personal coffee. Oh, five star service, guys. Here, it's got the little shop with all the electric items if you need anything for your car. And this is Mr. Ahmed. Hello. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, basically, every time I bring the car here, it's a pleasure because he's very honest. I know he's not going to try to rip me off, you know, as it can happen in Italy all the time when I bring the car. Because, you know, you know, I don't know not much about mechanics. basically took uh, the whole parts out. The whole mechanism, the lever is all out now in the laboratory and they're seeing how to fix it in the workshop. So guys, basically this part is a small piece of plastic that is broken because of that, we have to buy a new one. Now I'm going to leave my car here to Mr. Ahmed. Then I'll go for a walk around and we'll see how much is the new piece. Now I'm basically kinda in the middle of the desert. On my back, you see those lights, that's the new university. And there, they're building a new bridge. It's incredible how many bridges they're building in Egypt. There is a huge great uh, amount of uh, money coming from deals made with Saudi Arabia, with European corporations, and they're building everywhere, building uh, new roads, new bridges, buying new cars uh, for the police, uh, new schools. Uh, it's cool to see an economic boom in a country. And many people will realize after it happens, you know, investing here has maybe higher risk profile, but higher rewards for sure is, is a growing economy. And we like growth stocks. There's the bridge. Well, I met my partner and we're back to our shop. Egypt made easy shop. It's always good to have some self-promotion, isn't it? You put it in the right frame, looks incredible. Now my partner is over there, but he doesn't like to be filmed. How are you, Mr. Peter? How are you, man? What's up? There he is. Hey, what's the problem, man? He worked for Secret Service. Back at Mr. Ahmed, and look at this. He fixed it without having to buy a new one. So he saved me a lot of money. Now they're working on this. But let me tell you, the guy's a genius. For all this work, I paid like $15, $20. He's one of the most honest person that I know fixing cars, whether in Italy, in London, I've been working in France, in Switzerland. The guy 
is an absolute legend. We're continuing the trip into fixing my car. And now we came at Mr. Mina. How are you, man? How are you? He's the magician of the oil. And actually, I didn't change the oil for a long time. Now it's like the oil is terrible, yes? yes. Very bad. Very bad. Uh, very bad oil. So we're going to put uh, another very bad oil just to clean the motor. And then after 500 kilos, we're going to, to come back and put some new oil. So guys, change the oil of your car. And if you're in Shermishik, you come at Minas. And Peter is always there, but he doesn't like to be in the movie. <laughs> So that's the worst oil, yes? Yes. Only the worst for our car. After we're gonna put the good one. But how you know if it's good? So we changed the oil. The best part of all this is to deal with the local people. Everyone is always nice. Not always, but very often, nice, ready to have a laugh. It's a way to make friends as well, you know? Anyway, me and I did a great job. I like to alternate the more educational videos like how to buy a SIM card in Egypt, how to change currency in Egypt, to this kind of vlog where I show you the daily lives around. Let me know if you guys enjoy them. Please write it in the comments. I'm not really sure sometimes whether I should share this with you or not. Personally, the everyday moment, the everyday laughs in the face of the people, it's what uh, I like the most. I enjoy the Egyptian heart, the Egyptian friendship, the Egyptian uh, sense of irony and I hope you guys do it as well I mean if you just want to see author reviews or um, what else educational video how to travel Egypt let me know let me know if you enjoy these vlogs share the video leave a thumbs up do all the combo stuff and uh, Egypt was made easy again <laughs>